Hey, y'all already missed the walk, man. I still got some miles to go, man, but I just started doing my thing, you know what I mean? Push-ups and all that good stuff, so, you know. Even though it's raining, it's still a good day, man. But today, but today, man, we about to talk about some watches, bro. We about to get back to the basics. Did y'all catch last night's show, man? I had two dope brothers on there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all just got to go back and check it out. But right now, man, I need that music, man. I need that music to drop, man. Y'all like techno? Let's get it. Yo, yo, what's going on, family? It's your boy, Trap Vision 3D, man. It's Wednesday. Thank you for being here on The Lifestyle, man. And, uh, hoo -hoo, yeah, we back with another one. <laughs> hey, um, I want to say this, man. We're about to get into a, uh, a review. And when I say getting back to the basics, last night, uh, if you hadn't seen, we went live. Um, me and Victor Kyler, a.k.a. The Pharaoh. And uh, my man Kimon jumped on last night, and we had great conversations in the chat. And uh, man, you guys are awesome and phenomenal. That's all I got to say. Um, I've said this before. My grandmother had to say, like, a lot of people say it. Give me my flowers while I'm alive, man. And I have to say that talking to, to like, Vic offline, and I got two Vics that I could talk to offline, man, it, I'm talking about it, it blesses me. You know what I'm saying? Because keeps me steady and if i have an idea and i can bounce this off of both of these brothers and it's like all right this is what you need this is what i would recommend bro you know like the advice and then come on you know what i'm saying like we typing and chatting about stuff man uh i love his insight look just listen to him yesterday and we're talking about watches man we're talking about watches so watch it today or for right now because <laughs> i'm working out in this right here blue label yeah grand diver it's one of my favorites one of my favorites. But y'all already know, man, I'm in my favorite spot. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about some stuff, man. So Tommy Big Time did a review on this. And I had to look, I walked up here, so I had to transport this, and I found out that that watch does not fit in here. <laughs> and that's the first one we're gonna talk about. So this family is a Sea Hunter by Invicta. And uh, before we even talk about what it does and all the schematics, I actually had this watch featured last year because I bought this during the pandemic when it first kicked off. Paid a lovely price for it. Oh, oh man, hold up. Let me put this down. My food already out. Shit, yeah, bro, you know, you, whenever you got me, you got you good, bro. You good. Quit oh. fasting in a hurry. Mm. There you go, my brother. Ooh. There we go, just like you already. Ooh. Ooh, you see the fruit? You see the food, you see the egg whites and the diced potatoes. <laughs> Man, what? All right, man. So now it's about to be a happy review. You should, well, it's still, it was going to be a happy review beforehand. Hey, how you doing? Um, but it's just, you know, now I got food in my face. That make that's different topic there, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm alright, how you doing? Okay, so back to the watch. See Hunter? I call it like okay, so my man Vic, he said he got a call sign. I don't have a call sign for everyone, but I call this the presidential, man, because of the blue. It reminds me of the seal that you see in the president's office or something like that. And they go, I don't know, man, it just, that's what I just call it the presidential. So measuring this thing from the 10 to four on the actual bezel, you're looking at just under 50 millimeters. Get out of here. But if I measure it with the actual case in there which I will have to measure underneath looking at 51 millimeters now with that crown 
and that crown is protecting it. Show you, see that? You're looking at 59.3 millimeters, man. This thing is pretty much 60 millimeters across, right? So that makes for a big watch, bro. And this is what it looked like on the wrist. See how tall this sit up? Oh, you want to know how tall it is? Well, let's find out. Man, this thing thick, bro. Coming in at 20. You feel me? That's with crystal. That's one of my favorite things about it. You see that? It doesn't spin. Uh, this uh, Swiss Swiss made in it. Got the date aperture right here at the four o'clock. Yup. And this, now look, this this one I like. You see that? No play. It has no play. This one is actually, nice one on. This was actually uh, probably one of my better uh, watches as far as the, the the bezel turn because it doesn't have any play in it and y'all know that i like my pro divers and grand divers that one's actually more stout now we talked about that watch not being a rotation right there was a few colorways there's like a black version with a white dial and you got red accents in it and stuff like that there's a few. If Victor doesn't bring this one out as much on the poly strap, it has a Z50 in it, Swiss made, right? Um, I set this time on this watch, right? And the only thing I've actually had to do was um, set the date, pretty much. It keeps pretty much accurate time. And it's like a disco in here. The lights go. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but, um, I think it's probably one of the more more underrated. Now, me and my man John Gangy was like, man, we'd like to see Invicta make more of these or like more variations. What I would like to see in this, because we talked about this last night. Some watches that Invicta get a hold of, uh, and, of and of course, people that love Invicta have been asking for certain watches. Can we have more plating? Can we have um, more graffiti models, you know, like, can we have more Swiss made models? And I have to, you know, agree with my brothers that was on last night. Everybody's not looking for movement. They're just not. You know, some people look at, you know, the, the actual look of the watch, the bill, and then the first thing you want to think of, that watch is nice, it's gorgeous. And then you automatically think price. When you look at the price tag, if you go to Shop HQ or Evine, well, I'm sorry, Shop HQ, and you look at this watch, and on the screen right here, it says $259.99 or $599.95, but then you see the little slash and $159. See, like some people are like, oh, that's a great deal. So the average watch enthusiast though, they're like, mm. and I'm just, and I'm basing this off of real comments that I've seen. They'll say, no, nah, that's, mm -mm. that watch is cheap. But I can assure you, I'm talking about this. Look at this. The cameras never do it justice, ever. See these metal inserts, man? The texture on it. The strap, ah, ah, just abusing it. <laughs> uh, but I just want you to get a good look at how this thing looks. Does that look like, okay, how much would you pay for this thing? I wanna, I paid under, I wanna say like 140 for this watch. Somewhere around there, it wasn't a lot, y'all. Is $140, $150 too much for a watch? Well, if you look at last night's episode, the way uh, Vic had put it in perspective, time is something that you can't get back, right? Yet, these devices capture it and they tell it on, in a precision, like in a precision that is unlike anything that we've seen. How do people, like who came up with it? Like, how, what was the thought process? If you just rewind back if you do your research and go back and be like man the first watch man all the gearing and, and levers and springs and like and then they compact it and put it around this case how do they keep it from just falling out you know how does the temperature i mean there's so many different things that you think about so that right there starts to add value for me so for this watch 
which I'm telling you, even though it's it's a pretty big watch, and if you think this is big, the big brother of this thing, man, the actual Sea Hunter, that thing is humongous. Yeah, this is man, this is a great buy. This is a nice piece, and it demands it demands attention. <laughs> demands attention. It's not for everybody, you know. Like if you look at the lug system, it's comfortable for me. I'm telling you, man, like. It is. Now, I know some people don't like the lugs coming so far out on their wrist. They want it to be at a certain part on their wrist. But I'm telling you, if you can find one of these right here, I'm giving this thing a pin flag. Pin. That's five plus five. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's worth it's worth it to me. Um, it gets you into the, to the game of, of collecting. If you don't have something like that, grab it. Hey, man, that was good advice, brother. I'm doing a pot. I mean, I'm doing a show. I captured that. Hey, did y'all hear that? Life is like, what you say? It's like the world is like the, the world is your university. Get up, get ready to go to school. That's dude. Word of the day, phrase of the day. I like that. Is it? Wow, dude. That's a hey, that's knowledge, man. That's knowledge. He in college? No, high school. Oh uh, yeah, it's coffee, bro. Hey, so yo. Yeah, I got a my son in college right now. It's funny, you talking about going to see Venom this weekend or you seen it? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No, no, no. No, no. Don't tell me. No, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we, so I'm saying, okay, we going this weekend. Me and my, I'm taking the boys. Bro, go see it. So I got a Venom, I got a Venom watch. I got a Pro Diver. Venom, what? And I got to go get the shirt. Now you got me hyped. <laughs> got to get this shirt, man. So, hey, y'all never know what you're going to get on the lifestyle, man. Uh, I do enjoy it. And see, here's the deal. I came here with the mind intent of showing you some watches, man, that will get you, get your mind wondering, like, okay, what should I collect next? Should I get, get into that brand? And uh, I, I can tell you this. Uh, Semicon, shout out to Semicon, DK. He said something last night about, you know, expand your mind. Expand your mind. You don't have to be stuck on one brand and one particular brand, but look at the history of certain brands. Look at the quality. You know what I'm saying? Ask questions. Get on reviews and stuff like that, man. I'm going to tell you this. A lot of mine are based around Invicta watches because of the price point, because of like stuff like this. Look at this. This is a graffiti joint. This is my wife's watch, right? And I took this because she's been posting my watches on Instagram. So, yes, I took your watch. I took it. I got it. Look at it. I'm smelling it, I'm touching it, and that, 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 all that, yeah, yeah, don't feel good, you ain't even get to wear it yet, hold up, you ain't even get to wear it yet, mm, mm. look at this, y'all, y'all see this, ah, it's on my wrist, ah, yes, the pettiness of a husband, <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm gonna leave you with this, this watch right here is collected by my wife, it's something that she wanted, right, People that know, oh, there's a B on my camera. People that know my wife or seen seen us evolve over time. Wait, get out of here. Get, 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 get. Seen us evolve over time. My wife wasn't into watch collecting. For years, she'd be like, I'm not doing that. Purses, purse, purse, purse. That's all. Now look what she's doing. She's collecting stuff. You know what I'm saying? She's like, hey, this is what I want. She has her own style. She likes it. She gets engaged. She has a community of people behind her that's supporting her. And that's all I'm saying <clears throat> is if you looked at my logo and you heard me talk, I said it started with a watch. These are very more than just conversation pieces. These are, I would say, like the, the gateway, the doorway to somebody's soul, man, because I've developed some great relationships with people, man. And I'm not saying that, hey, let me go buy Invicta and it's going to open the, the gateway to heaven. I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying that it, it does. It, it begs for attention. It begs for, hey, I'm a person. I'm here, let's talk. And then I can tell time in whatever fashion that you like. So this is a loop, by the way, 20th anniversary. We'll get more into this at a later date. 
But just want to leave you guys with this, man. Uh, from the watches I just showed you, there's so many other watches that that you can look into, man. Uh, I collect Invicta, and I, you know, I just got my first two Aragons, and I'm looking to just build my collection around watches that that just speak to me. Like my man Godfather says, if it don't smack me in the face, I can't mess with it. But go out there and try it out. If you want to check out some Invicta pieces, man, hit me up in the comment. And if I can't get an answer for you, you know how many people in that's collecting Invicta that I know of, man? There's thousands of us, thousands of us out here. You know what I'm saying? So, family, hope you guys have a great day, man. I hope your work day, by the time you see this, your work day may be over, unless you're on the West Coast. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great day, man. Be blessed. You already know what it is.